Hey guys, even here and yep, George Peterson just moved to 212, finally. He announced it on his Instagram by posting this photo right here, which says 212 obviously, with a hashtag next level. Honestly guys, I was really happy when I saw this because 212 is a next level. I love classic physique, I am personally planning to compete in classic when I get muscular enough, but... 212 is bodybuilding, don't get me wrong, classic physique is awesome, it's a breath of fresh air, it's amazing, but it is a physique. It's only a couple of poses and you cannot really see the entire physique, you cannot see the entire glutes. But still, great division, I love classic, but it's not bodybuilding. Bodybuilding means building a body, getting big, getting huge, and look at George's back right here. Does this look like a classic physique? No. This looks like a bodybuilder, he should definitely, it, it's a great choice that he made transferring to 212. I think most people saw this coming, I think most people wanted to see him in 212, and I am personally very excited to see him progress even further, getting bigger than this, possibly leaner, and to see him compete in 212. I mean, sure, he's doing great in, in Classic, he's third in the world a couple of years in a row, he won the Arnold Classic, but he will never win. Classic Physique, Mr. Olympia, I don't think that is realistic because this year he was the best bodybuilder on Classic Physique stage, but he was not the best physique, he doesn't have the structure for Classic. He can change conditioning, he can come more shredded, he can come bigger, maybe, unless he reach the, the weight cap, but he cannot change his structure, he cannot become any more Classic. If he didn't win it this year, he probably never ever will because he was bigger than both of these guys right here, he was more muscular and more conditioned. If this was a bodybuilding competition, George would win it. But unfortunately for him, it wasn't. And the only reason they let him be in the top 3 is just because of the sheer muscle density and the conditioning that he brought on the stage. He has nothing to do with the classical lines, with classic physique. But hey, still, the success that he achieved in Classic Physique is extraordinary, he was top 3 two years in a row, and he won the Iron Classic, so that's an amazing achievement, but I guess he reached his absolute limit, and now it's time to move on to the next level. So, how will he do in 212, actually? Well, here you can see a comparison, George Peterson and Kamal El Gargni, who is currently the champion in 212, and basically, I'm not sure how accurate this... Uh, these proportions are how much George is taller than Kamal, I'm pretty sure he is much taller, but based on this photo right here, I mean, you can still notice a couple of things. You can definitely notice that George needs to work on his legs a little bit more. I mean, Kamal, he doesn't have huge legs. Derek Lansford, for example, has much rounder quads or just bigger legs, but he was <laughs> nowhere near Kamal's conditioning. Flex Lewis also had great set of quads. But Kamal, not that great, it's kind of squarish, if you know what I mean, the quad sweep isn't quite there, it's just too flat, but still it looks bigger than George's quads. But I think George does have a lot of room to grow his quads, to grow his legs, and right now when there is no weight cap, he can do a little mass cycle, you know, a good good bulk in off season, and grow, grow those quads, and overall actually. In the upstairs area, it's pretty close, I mean, they are pretty similar conditioned, although Kamal is just peeled to the bone, but also George was there. George is pretty much the same conditioning. Maybe Kamal is a tiny bit sharper, but still, George is amazing, George is also very well conditioned. He's, his arms are not as big as Kamal's, but you know, he still has a weight cap in Classic. If there is no weight cap, how much can he grow? If you guys know what was George's weight at the Mr. Olympia in Classic Physique, please let me know in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure this wasn't 212 pounds, I'm pretty sure he has uh, at least 10 pounds more to grow. So if he does that, he will be much more competitive against guys like Kamal. From the back though, it's a different story, I mean, George is known for having one of the best bags in bodybuilding, literally, in whole bodybuilding world, in all divisions of today. That bag is so dense, and the details, the complete development, every single thing is there. A lot of thickness, turtle lads, traps, rhomboids, delts, everything. And his glutes are also amazing. So he was probably even more conditioned than Kamal in this pose right here. And I'm pretty sure he's taller, so I don't know how good this comparison right here is. 
it's probably not good. So I'm pretty sure George would look more impressive in the back double bicep. This is one of the best back double biceps in the industry, in the bodybuilding industry of today. It's really complete and very, very good. Just very well conditioned, detailed, polished. I mean, that's the word you want to say. Polished. Very, very good back double biceps of George Peterson. From the sides, George is really showing that thickness. You can see his lats from the side, which means he is thick. He's definitely very thick. And the thing is, you can still here see why George wasn't that good in classic. From the sides, he looks blocky. There is pretty much no neck on him. There is just traps and his head, almost. Not literally, but you can see the blockiness in his upper body, upper torso area, shoulders, traps, his neck. It just doesn't look, you know, classic. There is no tall neck. It's very blocky, and that's why he didn't do great in Classic, and I think this is why he will do great in 212 or in bodybuilding. This right here is probably his worst pose. Classic physique is all about having great vacuum, having great abs, having great waistline, and a structure which really starts from the waist. And this is the reason why Classic physique was won by Chris Bumstead, especially this pose, abs and thighs, and just look at the George right here. A mess, a mess, just a horrible abs and thighs. Kamal looks much more aesthetic and just much better flow is on his physique right here. So, obviously, abs and thighs are one of the worst poses for George, and it is not as important in 212 as it is in Classic. So, another great reason for George turning to 212. It's interesting, a couple of days ago I had an interesting conversation or an argument with Quinton Area, who is an IBB pro in Men's Open. As you can see, his nickname here is Quint Beastfood, <laughs> funny nickname. Anyways, uh, they posted a photo of George Peterson, and I said, what the F is George doing in Classic? So Quinton replied, and he says, um, he's one of the best in the world, why else? Well, that's a pretty good argument, but I said, but he is cutting himself short, and he will never be number one in Classic, but in 212 he might. To which Quinton replied again, making another good point. He says, first, he's tall for 212. Second, he was a bodybuilder before, but looks his best since he entered Classic. A valid point, I have to admit. Then I said, if he showed up just like this at 2019 Mr. Olympia in 212, he would crack the top six. You disagree? To which he never replied, but Ruff Diesel, or Terence Ruffin, who is an IBB pro in Classic, who is replied, he says, uh, he replied to the original comment of mine, he says, um, being the current Arnold Classic champ and being the top three in the world three years running. And again, these guys made some valid points, some good points, but George still decided to move to 212, and I think this is the perfect move. Because sure, he is great in Classic, you don't need me to tell you that, his results are speaking for themselves, but the reason why he is doing so well in Classic is because he is so muscular. He's over muscular, if you ask me. He has too much muscle for Classic physique. The judges just cannot deny this muscularity and conditioning and everything, but they cannot give him the victory. And of course, everybody is competing to win, nobody is competing to be third place. So if he wants to be a great champion, he needs to switch. He needs to go to bodybuilding, 212 or open. I mean, look at his back, there is too much muscle on it. Not classic and too good for classic. He could do some damage in bodybuilding. And with this kind of abs and ties, he will never be great classic physique winner. Sure, he can win some shows, but I think things are switching this year. He won the Arnold Classic, but now after the Mr. Olympia, I think the message was we need a physique. We need a flowing, aesthetically pleasing and overall classical physique to win classic physique Mr. Olympia. Some other smaller shows, sure, I mean, he might win Iron Classic again, because Steve Lorias would probably be less than third place at this year's Mr. Olympia, because he's not muscular enough. He needs to add more muscle to be more competitive. And that is the only reason why Steve Lorias lost to George at the Iron Classic, because classic lines is very important factor, but it's not the only factor. Muscularity and conditioning is also very, very important. If you have all three, which you can definitely see, at the Mr. Olympia stage, you will win. But some smaller shows, classic lines are not that important because you can overcompensate with muscularity and conditioning and other stuff. So, once again, I think this was a great move from George Peterson. I think he will do better in 212. 
I think he may become 212 Mr. Olympia champion one day if he adds a little bit more muscle, he improves his legs and so on. But for now, I'm very excited to see him bigger in 212 or maybe in the Open someday. We'll see how things go. As for now, George Peterson, classic physique is over. 212 is the next level. Anyways, what do you guys think about George moving to 212? Do you think he will do great? Whatever your take is, thumb down below in the comment section. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos about bodybuilding. Thank you very much guys for watching and uh, all the best. Bye bye.